LGBTQ advocates urging city leaders for more data when it comes to the number of COVID-19 cases. Organizations like the Pride Center of San Antonio say the LGBTQ community remains a vulnerable group who at times are overlooked. The night team Stephen Cavazos with the answers they're hoping to find. We already work with a very vulnerable population. Robert Salcido, executive director over at the Pride Center of San Antonio, believes more needs to be done to save lives. The local nonprofit's mission is to provide a safe place for the LGBTQ community, a group Salcido considers high risk when it comes to contracting COVID-19. The, there's a, a, a wide range of different issues that could potentially affect and impact an LGBTQ community member. Homelessness, limited access to health care, and a high rate of individuals living with HIV are just some of those issues. Salcedo says the organization needs more data so they're able to help people who may be vulnerable. Unfortunately, there are community members that have lost their lives because of it. Um, so we, we've seen it across the board. Right now, that exact number remains to be seen. During today's daily briefing, Assistant City Manager Colleen Bridger says the number of COVID-19 cases has not been broken down by sexual orientation, but that could change if city leaders need the data. If that becomes something that policymakers would like to see, that would be something we would have to start doing moving forward. Something the city does plan on doing is expanding testing to marginalized communities, which includes the LGBTQ. Areas with vulnerable populations, marginalized populations, targeting those areas that seem to be underrepresented. Salcedo says that information can be helpful and life-saving. That would help us better prepare ourselves um, for future instances of, of uh, something very uh, catastrophic like what's going on now. Now, Salcedo also called out the Food and Drug Administration after the FDA modified restrictions on blood donations. That new policy says that LGBT members must now wait three months following the last time they had intercourse before they could donate. Prior to that, it was one year. However, Salcedo calls that new policy discriminatory. But the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center tells us that while they are focused on expanding their blood donor base, their primary focus right now is collecting plasma for patients who are being treated for COVID-19. Steve Isis, 